Hey guys, Ajax22 here, and I wanted to share with you something that I've been doing a lot of thinking about and a little bit of scrounging. Um, I want to do a man portable M2HB 50 cal. I think it's doable. I think that it can be cut down to where it's not unrealistic um, for a burly individual, perhaps with a steady cam mount to actually carry along with 10 to 25 rounds, which would be kind of awesome. Um, I don't think this is going to be particularly practical, but uh, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, biggest thing on this is just scrounging up 50 cal parts. Uh, they tend to be a little hard to come by and a little dear price-wise for, uh, you know, the bits. Uh, I'm going to do it as a semi-auto. I've already got the barrel. Um, I have a, a brand new uh, ish uh, M3 uh, aircraft barrel which I can um, shorten lighten and uh, add a probably some kind of a, a machined in conical uh, flash hider slash uh, muzzle booster uh, overall length you're still gonna have you know a 26 ish inch receiver uh, I believe on these uh, and then you're gonna have another 10 inches beyond that of barrel minimum I want to say um, 10 to 14 inches I think will be right around where it needs to be um, obviously go as short as, as possible the side plates there's a lot of um, meat for potentially lightning um, haven't figured out what pattern that's gonna need to be to maintain the denial bar that needs to be milled into the bolt and um, barrel extension um, and then I was planning on using something akin to uh, a6 handles um, in a bracket for the rear uh, no sights get rid of those uh, still have the charging handle um, armature on the side use probably either use an m2 or an m3 buffer I don't know whichever is lighter um, and then um, I think we'll skeletonize the bottom portion. Sorry about that. Joys of not putting uh, airplane mode on when you start doing videos. Um, my bad. Anyway, um, skeletonize the bottom plate. I think I could skeletonize a portion of the top cover, although I might leave that in place. The, um, I guess this would be the shroud, the um, whatever the heck it is called spacing on the term um, can probably be cut down to almost nothing uh, I like the idea of having it there I might actually go with a solid non perforated uh, sleeve just so that uh, it shields your hand your forward hand from a little bit of the muzzle blast I envision this being hung on a sling or uh, on a steady cam mount and using two hands to, to operate it because it's gonna weigh a piece um, I mean you don't want to get rid of too much um, too much weight but you also there's gonna be a balance between weight uh, recoil and you know whether or not the muzzle blast can mitigate the the recoil or if it's gonna be needed to enhance the recoil I mean there's just some some tuning that needs to happen um, it's kind of an expensive gun to be modifying parts and tuning on um, but it would be absolutely awesome I was originally thinking of getting an Orlikin drum um, to mount to the side of this and then just cutting it down so instead of 20 mil it handles 50 um, and I, think, I still think that's a pretty good idea uh, the parts that I have um, kicking around are not um, first quality these are um, you know a light torch cut D mill that I have that just needs to be rewelded um, and then here this this bolt has had uh, a light torch cut as well um, so, you know, and, and a torch cut on the little stub thing that sticks out there. I'm, I'm not a hip on my, uh, M2 components. Sorry, guys. Um, but that's something that I wanted, I've been wanting to do for a while. I was planning on doing this on an A6 as well. Uh, probably do the A6, uh, or sorry, the, uh, A4 first. But, um, because of the dimensions on the A6, I think I'm going to have to um, comply with California pistol laws 
It's never been a rifle, obviously. It's a crew served weapon. But I think once the barrel goes below 16 inches in California, it still is treated like a handgun. Um, I'm going to have to do a bit of research and, you know, dig. Um, but should be should be doable. On the 50 BMG, um, I'll, I'll make a, a tool-operated top cover latch and only run 10 round belts. Um, I think that'll get us around the, the pistol issues. Um, it's not going to be a pistol according to the ATF. The ATF has already ruled since the receiver alone is 26 inches. You can, if you can figure out how to make it work. Um, so really it's just a matter of scrounging the parts. Uh, I can buy a complete kit for less the barrel, which I've got for around, I think $3,700. Um, although they've been going up in price a lot lately. Um, I think I can piece it together for less than that. Um, I need to get, uh, you know, all of the receiver box sections, uh, or at least the dimensions. I really think that, you know, a lot of the components on an, on an M2 receiver should just be machinable. Um, if I could just get one, copy it, or get the machinist drawing for one. A lot of the detail stuff, I'm not going to need. I'm not going to need the rear sight assembly of the rear top piece. The buffer assembly I'll probably get as a complete unit. Um, the bottom, you know, riveting section, I'm not going to need. The, the front trunnion is probably going to be the most complicated portion. And honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll probably just wind up buying that. Or, or seeing what I can get um, in a light D-mill and, and refabbing. Um, or I could, you know, just spend money. That seems less um, entertaining. I could, so. I could use your guys' help in tracking down the parts. Uh, prefer, I would prefer to start with the receiver assembly um, and uh, go from there, but you know anything M2HB that you guys see that's um, dirt cheap and kicking around. I don't care if it's rusted, if it was picked up in a battlefield in Tunisia. I mean, I really don't care how trash this stuff is as long as it's straight. I don't want any dozer uh, D mills. I can't straighten a dozer bent bolt. That's just crazy. Um, prefer not to have torch cut D mills um, unless it's a side plate or something. Uh, that has good parts riveted to it. Uh, I can build those back up, but I could almost easier, more, I could almost more easily build it from plate metal. So, um, you know, any help would be appreciated. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, yeah. And in case you're, you know, saying, hey, M2, uh, M2HB isn't that 50 BMG and isn't 50 BMG illegal in California? To answer your question, I can say with some authority that California was very special in how they banned the 50 BMG. They they specified that they were banning 50 BMG rifles, and then they laid out you know ex very specific configurations of how it was going to be you know illegal, and they kind of forgot that belt-fed crew-served weapons with no stock are not rifles. Um, you know, even under California law. So belt-fed 50s are legal. <laughs> so good job, guys. You banned, you know, precision rifles. You missed the uh, the belt-fed 50 that you were actually thinking of when you were like, hey, what could uh, down an airplane or something? So brilliant. California, what can I say? Sorry, guys. Um... But thankfully for us, belt fed crew serve legal. So trying to trying to throw one together, scrounge up the parts, and um, yeah, not much other than uh, just keeping eyes open, scouring eBay, scouring uh, gun broker, seeing if anybody on any forums turns up with you know random parts. And I'm looking for dirt, dirt cheap, if possible. So I don't know if you guys have any in your collections, or uh, you know, spot one at a yard sale, or you know, just just know what know what's out there. And, and the more eyes that are that are looking, the better the chance I have of getting this thing built in a timely fashion, without you know just dumping all of gun budget money into it for a little while. Um, 
you know, it's fun. Builds character. Uh, yeah. Ton of work. Totally worth it. So that's that's where we're at with this. Uh, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, please feel free to share my, share the videos, share links, comment, tell me what you guys want worked on, and uh, we'll try to get to it. But this is this is one that kind of speaks to my inner, you know, spirit animal. Um, big, meaty metal, excessive concussion, no good reason for it. Um, yeah, I, I got to do it. So, help, helps appreciated, and uh, more eyes is better. All right, have a good one.